changes in the Congress and what does it mean now for the Congress leaders? Let me go straight to Bhopal where Mr. Kamal Nath is joining us, senior Congress leader, former Madhya Pradesh chief minister. Uh, Mr. Kamal Nath, really appreciate your time. You have worked with several generations of Gandhi, is Mr. Kamal Nath, uh, with Indira Gandhi uh, to Rajiv Gandhi to Sonia Gandhi, Rahul Gandhi and also uh, uh, Priyanka Gandhi Wadra. What does this transition actually mean to you? Well, it, it's a transition. A transition takes place uh, uh, in all political parties. And uh, I've had the privilege of working with uh, uh, so many of the Gandhis. They will continue, obviously, to be mentors of the party. And uh, Mr. Kharge is a very experienced person, a uh, very senior congressman. He has uh, nationwide experience. So I think we, under the mentorship, I'm using the word mentorship of Mrs. Sonia Gandhi and Rahul Gandhi, Mr. Kharge will be able to perform excellently. Uh, you are using the word mentorship and you're sounding very hopeful. Of course, you've worked with Mr. Kharge as well uh, when you were a parliamentarian, sir. Uh, here is an 80-year-old leader who's taking charge of the grand old party. Uh, one may say that the young Turks who left the Congress recently were seen to be part of Team Rahul Gandhi. They will see no future uh, in this party anymore. Uh, and, and do you think there would be some convergence points now between the old guard and the young Turks? Well, I think Mr. I have seen Mr. Kharge work as in the Lok Sabha. And uh, his affability, his experience, and his equation with the younger lot was profound. I noticed that when I was there. Uh, he did bring a lot of experience, and he earned a lot of respect from the younger lot. Most important is how can you connect with the younger lot. And he connected very well with the younger generation uh, of parliamentarians which we had. So I do not see any problem. And saying he's 80 years old, is, I think, denigrating experience, um, de denigrating knowledge. Uh, what knowledge somebody can have at an older age, he cannot possibly have when he's at 40 or 50. Hmm. So he brings to the table his affability, he brings to the table his experience, he brings to his table his ability to connect with everybody in the party. The biggest challenge for the Congress party is, of course, the organizational challenges and also that it has to face the BJP, uh, the BJP which has its organizational might and is the election winning machine that it has turned out to be. It is winning states and uh, not only winning states, but it is continuing to retain those states and electoral victories are the biggest validation for any political party. Mr. Kamal Nath, you are in Madhya Pradesh, you are trying to revive the Congress on ground there. Uh, what do you see? is the biggest challenge before the new Congress president, that is Mr. Malikarjun Kharge. You're right. We are up against a formidable organization of the BJP. And our first priority has to build the organization. We must understand politics has undergone a change. And uh, this change has to be comprehended. Uh, politics five years ago was different, 10 years ago was different, 20 years ago was different. I remember when I contested my first election 42 years ago, politics was entirely different. The agenda was completely different. What we spoke about was completely different. And politics is fast moving with change now. Five years ago, you only had 25% people on social media. Today, you have 95% people on social media. That's a very major change. And unless we can build an organization at a village level, hmm. uh, we cannot take on the formidable machine of the BJP, organizational machine of the BJP. People in the country uh, look at localized politics. Politics has become very localized. It's no more globalized. Uh, local level, when I say it's localized, that means what's your organization at the village level? He asks a question that if my uh, child gets ill in the night, who will I contact? He's not going to be looking for his MLA or his MP. So we have to have an organization at the village level, and that should be our topmost priority. Um, 
one view certainly was that Mr. Kharge was an unofficial establishment nominee from day one. Uh, given the kind of uh, fanfare with which he filed his nomination papers as well. Uh, so, one concern is that will he really have a free hand or will he be a rubber stamp Congress president? Mr. Kharge is not a rubber, rubber stamp variety and to say he was a nominee is very incorrect. Um, I, in Madhya Pradesh, told everybody to vote as they liked. And uh, they respected his experience. They also respected Shashi Tharoor. It's not that they, they, they were anti Shashi Tharoor, but Mr. Kharge's experience, his seniority, uh, overtook Mr. Shashi Tharoor. So I don't think he is a rubber stamp and I don't think he was a nominee. Uh, I myself had asked Mrs. Sonia Gandhi what is to be done, and she said that you tell everybody to do uh, as they please. Even our uh, election authority. Uh, took that stand and put it in writing that nobody is to campaign for anybody. Everybody should vote according to their wish. And that's what happened. And so these elections uh, have taken place at a time when uh, Rahul Gandhi uh, has embarked on that, that Bharat Jodo Yatra and he is the face of that Bharat Jodo Yatra. Uh, so what will be the equation between Rahul Gandhi and the new Congress president. The question that I'm asking, because you understand the nuances, you understand what does it mean to have a Gandhi as a boss and, and still have some kind of authority. What do you see will be the equation between the two? No, I think it's a very complementary and supplementary relationship. Um, I was myself there at uh, uh, Rahul Gandhi's uh, Bharat Jodo Yatra a few days ago. And I have never in my political career seen such an amount of enthusiasm, such an amount of support, people uh, streaming into the streets, uh, unorganized. This is not like the BJP's meetings which they have, where it's all government organized. Uh, government officers are told to bring crowds. Here this was spontaneous, there's no government. And uh, I think that both Rahul Gandhi and Mr. Kharge's role would be supplementary and complementary to each other. Uh, and uh, I don't see any conflict and I don't see, um, I see convergence in it. And this convergence is what is going to be the most important thing in building up uh, the Congress organization. There was a push that had come from Mrs. Gandhi and also from several sections of the Congress party that you should contest these elections. Why didn't you contest? Because uh, several state units had also communicated to the Gandhis that if it was Mr. Kamalna, then they would be looking at his candidature favorably. Well, I had, I had said several months ago that I do not want to shift to Delhi. And after having um, committed myself to the state and committed myself to the congressmen of the state, I felt my leaving the state at this point of time will be letting them down. So uh, we have 11 months more for the election. I want to complete these 11 months. And uh, that's why I did not want my attention, my energies, uh, my time uh, to be diverted to uh, anywhere else. Okay, sir, uh, a non-Gandhi uh, at the helm of the Congress party after 24 years, we had also seen that era of Sita Ram Kesri, who was the Congress president and a non-Gandhi as well. Uh, what, according to you, is the difference between uh, Sita Ram Kesri and Mr. Malikarjun Kharge? Well, Mr. Uh, Kesri had been a Rajya Sabha member. Mr. Kharge has been an MLA for so many times, eight, nine times he's been an MP. He understands the ground. Mr. Sitaram Kesri was uh, a different uh, kind of person. And at, at, at a point of time after P.V. Narasimharao, uh, there was a need to arrive at a consensus and he was the softest consensus, consensus we could arrive at. So, and he wasn't elected. Let's remember that. Okay, Mr. Kamala, last question to you, sir. Uh, what will be your advice to the new Congress president since he is your friend as well? I would advise him that please look at every state individually. Every state is specific in its own way and build the organization. The way you do it in Haryana is very different how you do it in Kerala. The way you do it in Kerala is very different to how you do, will do it in Punjab. The way you do it in Punjab is very different to the way you will do it in Madhya Pradesh. So every state has to be looked has to be state specific in building up an organization 
All right, Mr. Kamal Nath, I appreciate your time. Thank you so much.